Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, welcome to the nightcap. It's your girl, Carolina Sanchez, and baby, it's spooky season. So you know what we're doing. We're going on a Halloween bar hop across Houston. And of course, one of our favorite places to stop, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Yeah, what's up for a nightcap? Chill, you know, kick back. All right, you already know I'm a pro behind the bar here at Beetlejuice. Last time I was here, I made the George Washington eggnog. And baby, I didn't believe it, but that was good. And George Washington knew what he was doing. But here I am with Pedro Ortiz, a bartender here at Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, darling, thanks for having me. Thanks for coming, thanks for having me as well. Okay, y'all decked it out as you always do for yeah. Christmas yeah. and year round the babies are there but y'all y'all showed up and showed out for Halloween yeah we have some more outside decorations some blow-up dolls we have some uh, don't say blow-up dolls on the dirty. nightcap you know what that is well, a blow-up doll we know what that is but no 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 we got inflatables inflatables <laughs> inflatables uh-huh um, yeah we have some skeletons we have some uh, we have another room in there, the karaoke room. What's in the karaoke cool, room? Some cool decorations. Okay. Y'all yeah, got new spooky. wallpaper that's, that's wallpaper. spooky. Yeah. And baby, y'all got a whole new menu specifically for Halloween. Halloween, correct. All right, what are we what are we looking at? <gasps> so no. right here I prepared for you two cocktails. Okay. Two of our frozen cocktails. The first one is a frozen grave digger. It's a mezcal-based cocktail. Stop it. Uh, a little bit of Montenegro, some mint, some amaretto, some lemon. Very, very tasty. Okay, hold uh, on. You already know I gotta drink oh, some of this. So. You're gonna have to try a little bit. What is in here? So, mezcal, Montenegro, mint, amaretto, lemon. And my heart and soul. Pretty tasty. Holy well, Really, really, really tasty. And what is this? We've got vampire teeth up in here. So this is the blood-soaked nightmarish hellscape. It's a tequila-based cocktail with some coconut, some fresh lime juice. We have a strawberry chamoy syrup inside. Really, really tasty as well. Yeah, pretty good, right? <laughs> that coconut? Very tropical. Oh, very tropical. I want to be on a beach for Halloween. Okay. Mm. I love it. Obviously, if you didn't watch our past episodes on Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, they are known for their cocktails and their pizzas. And don't worry, I already put it in order. Okay. I do have another cocktail for you. Okay. Awesome. Would you like to try to make it? Oh, see, I thought it was just treats here, but apparently there's tricks. All right. What are we making, Pedro? So we're going to make a Rob Zombie. Okay, I fuck with Rob Zombie. It's a very tropical tiki cocktail. Okay. Season, uh, some, it's like a blend of rums, cognac, or shot, banana liqueur. Also banana very, very liqueur, tasty. yes. Okay. All right, you're speaking dirty to me and I love it. All right, come on, Pedro, what so, are we doing? We're gonna shake it up. Okay, tins. and he keeps saying we, and I'm seeing one set of tins, it sounds like just me. Okay. So it's gonna be you. What am I doing? So let's put six ounces of our Rob Zombie batch. Add a little bit of crushed ice. Give your scoop right there. A little bit of crushed ice. Put it inside the tin. A little bit or a lot of it? Do as you please. Okay. Let's shake it up. Oh, this is uh -oh. an easy one. Uh -oh. right, she's got it. Am I good? Because my hands are freezing. I think okay, it's yeah. Ready to go. And then we're just going to dump the whole thing inside that glass. A dirty dump? A dirty dump. Ooh, okay. Beautiful. Okay. Now what, sir? Now let's add some more crushed ice to that. Perfect. Fantastic. And we're just going to garnish this with a little bit of mint. Okay, is there only mint it's over like, there? Because if I got to decipher between basil and mint. Let's not mix up the wrong greens. If you want to release the essence <laughs> of a mint, baby, dale. Oh, dale. Okay, we'll get a nice little orange slice, put it right on top. With my hands? Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Yes! Uh, okay, okay, hold on. No, 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 you got to do a straw it. test. Yeah. <laughs> he smelled it. Muy bien. Ah! Good job. I'm hired. You're going to see this ghoul behind the bar, this witch, whatever it is. Let me, let me taste it. 
right? Maybe. Yeah. Come That's on. Good. That's Come on. Good. Come on over to Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Don't say it a third time because you already know what happens. Come see my guy Pedro. Order a pizza, order one of these cocktails, and have a good time. All right, you know the Halloween hop around Houston continues after the break. Welcome back to the Nightcap. As you know, we're going around Houston for the Halloween bar crawl, and I've been making some friends, baby. Tell them all about the spots we've been going to. But this conversation has died, so let's let him rest in peace and check out Nicholas City, where the Black Lagoon pop-up has taken over. <laughs> all right, it is decked out, an entire menu, baby, here at Nickel City with the Black Lagoon. I've got Kavi Yesi Keith, a manager here at Nickel City, who's gonna walk me through their offerings. Darling, this display, Okay. I love it. What am I looking at here? So, we're starting out right here on the left. We've got Nosferatu's Rock, which is gonna be a stirred cocktail. A little boozy for light citrus notes. He's a lot of fun. A little orange coin in there for garnish. This is going to be our hex appeal. Mm. Think of it as kind of like a riff on a gin and tonic. Okay. Yes. Um, Ooh, we're this gonna is spill spectacular. In glass. I, it's mostly because I didn't make it. Um, this is gonna be <laughs> just in glass. Okay. And then here we've got um, nightmare fuel. All right, so this was like a gin and tonic. Yes. And this is, so it should be a little bit herby. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. And mostly because you didn't make it, right, Exactly. Bobby? All right, so the Black Lagoon, what exactly is it? So Black Lagoon is a national pop-up. So we have one at, there's two nickel cities doing it, Houston and Fort Worth, and there's a couple other bars around the country and in North America that are doing it as well. It's gonna get spooky in here, it's gonna get weird, it's gonna get fun. It's about two and a half weeks, right up until the end of October. All right, the drinks. Obviously, they decided the menu, and you guys are executing these sort of spectacular. What's in this? So, the, so the, the, the nightmare fuel, the best thing about it is the glass for itself. This ceramic mug that looks like a dragon's mouth is opening and just like swallowing you whole. This one's going to be a little bit more citrus forward. Uh -huh. Once again, it's going to be a blend of spirits, and it's going to be kind of like a more mellowed out offering. Oh my god. Yeah. I love every single one of these. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Who is she and what is in her? So this is our siren and what goes in her is her siren song. That is going to be another one of those light, lightly citrus forward cocktails. A little, a little aerated and topped off with just a little bit of soda. It's delicious, some mint and some nutmeg. Okay, why, why am I not having the siren? Well, we can make it right now. Okay, he's twisting my arm. Okay, we're at the well. Yes. So this one's gonna be a shaken cocktail and it's really fun because it's fast. It's gonna be super easy for us. We're gonna do three steps. Do you want to jigger it out yourself? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. He doesn't know. He doesn't know me. And I wouldn't trust me either, right? I'm <laughs> I, I absolutely trust you. I'm having a great time. This is less work for me. You're making me do two at once. Interesting. Okay, this is a so first I just, I, I, just, I did just process. You probably do not know how to double jigger. I don't know how to double <laughs> jigger, okay. but we're going to learn so, today. So double jigger is a very specific style of jiggering. It's not necessary, necessarily. You can have two in one hand. I can have a half, a three quarter, a two, and a one. And because Wait, of it here, I've got a one half The dexterity well. of not having dick. two. <laughs> okay, so you're going to do, here's your batch right here. We're going to do two and a half ounces of this batch. All right, this big side and this small side, right? Yes, yes, yes. Go I was starting late because, you know, he had his elbows in my face. We've got lime juice, okay. so that one, we can just flip like this. We're gonna do three quarter ounces of lime juice. Three quarter ounces. Cool, 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 cool. And just one of those? Yes, just one. Okay. Perfect. Mm -hmm. and, then and then what? we're gonna add two dashes of Caribbean spice dinner. I don't know why I did that for you. We're gonna put a little bit of crushed ice in here. And we're gonna so give this cold. a nice, fun, long whip shake. We're Is gonna that really let this. Ice? You that's, that's, that's plenty. Okay. We got this big old guy going up there. It's gonna have a lot of room to shine. So I, I, I would probably suggest putting it here and slapping it because like they will occasionally come apart. There you go. Now I won't be able to open it. It's fine. Frosted? No. Yeah, it's a little. It's got some frosting on there. Okay. My hands are frozen. All right. This this was this was this is 
this was, this is cold. Yes. The hardest part for me when I first started learning how to bartend was how cold the tins would get, especially for like. I'm sorry. Ooh, your hands are very Do I cold. have your consent? I'm just yes, touching you're him. Yes, you're doing great. I have proof a lot of body heat. I'm fine. We're gonna give that a nice. I would get a new space. All right. By the same color, I would say so. Yep. We're gonna get a little mint. We've okay. got nice trees of mint right down here. Here you go. Is this enough? That's plenty. You know I love slapping my mint. Okay. Here, one more for you. One more. For good measure. Exactly. We're going to cut that <laughs> right in here. And this part has a two-part garnish. And then we're going to do the second best part. This looks cooler than mine. I just not. Inaccurate. In a microplane, just a no, little bit. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna let you do that. That looks a little too crazy. Cheers. Cheers. Let's see. Am I gonna be called to the siren? Oh. Oh. That's unique. So that's part of what's happening there because the mint and the nutmeg are hitting your nose. So uh -huh. much of what you're getting when it comes to a, a cocktail is from your sense of smell. This is crazy because it's super refreshing. I don't yeah. feel like I'm drinking a cocktail. That's the best kind. Call that a porch pounder. And that's, no, yeah, it's dangerous is what it is. The siren is dangerous. I need to investigate further. All right, listen, the spirits are here, okay? They also have zero spirit offerings, but we're not diving into those today. All right, the uh, hop continues around Houston for Halloween. You stay right there. We'll be right back. Come on, Kavi, we got work to do. Welcome back to the nightcap. As you know, we're on a Halloween bar crawl, so we came to Heights & Co. because they have an entire menu and a special treat outside. All right, we are outside, baby. The sun has set, the moon is out. I am here with the owner of Heights & Co., Brian Doak. Baby, I'm happy to be back. Absolutely. The Chef Series was, I still dream about it. <laughs> it and you're y'all's bruschetta and burrata. One of my favorites. Baby, y'all turned me into a burrata lover. I love it. Good. If y'all haven't been here just for food and cocktails in general, you're missing out. But Halloween, y'all are taking it on, owning it, and it's a spot this spooky season. Absolutely. A whole menu. Whole menu. All the cocktails, themed cocktails for the season. Uh, obviously, you got a couple different ones. Beetlejuice, candy corn, Grave Digger espresso martini has definitely been a super popular one, and it goes with kind of the ambiance and the overall decor of the patio. Everything. I'm seeing like the little the witch's, brew, witch's margarita. brew margarita that has like a little witch's broom <laughs> in a cantarito. Like, this is attention to detail to the max. You get to, to do the, the honors on this one for our Grave Digger espresso martini. <gasps> Okay, not a shovel. Okay, <laughs> it's an entire shovel. Okay, so I just laid out a That's cross. Right. All right. right in there. And oh. You can just leave the shovel right in there, and he's he's done. Yeah. Poor guy. <laughs> but I am gonna drink him. All right. So how has the vibe been during this Halloween season? It's great. Honestly, the weather's coordinating with us. It's a beautiful night. We've got the cocktails going for the theme specifically for October. We'll change it a little bit going into the rest of the holidays for November, December. So we'll have a whole new lineup in about a month. And it goes with kind of the patio decor. We're doing movie nights every single week through the entire month of October. And, and everybody gets like little, their own little private. Yeah, a little private, something fun um, to go with the flame pit. So we can flame pit? bring that on over real quick. Absolutely. Oh, so it's not just your per- Oh, no. stop! So we've got- Stop it! I'll take this one. So we've got- So it's not just a private no. fire pit. Well, this is, is an experience. But this is the tabletop s'mores board that is themed specifically for Halloween. We've got the skull chocolates that we do in house, the candy corn, of course, because you got to have it during the of holidays, course. naturally, and the little ghost decorated marshmallows. And it's kind of fun because it's nostalgia, it's Halloween specific, and then it's a little interactive because you can actually, you know, use the tabletop, roast the marshmallows, make your own s'mores, enjoy the cocktails and kind of have a fun evening to celebrate Halloween and, you know, as Houstonians, patio weather patio weather, which we love and adore, and Absolutely. we can't get much of because it's so damn hot out here. <laughs> True. But True. hopefully the month of October treats us well. We'll see. 
Should we cheers? Of course we should. Cheers, cheers Brian. All right, people. Y'all already know what you gotta do. You gotta come to Heights and Co. Order all six cocktails, baby. I'm being brave and I'm doing the same thing. I got a lot of tasting to do, and I gotta get a poker because I gotta start Absolutely. making these s'mores. While we are watch going. a movie on the huge projector. And baby, people are out here. We gotta be quiet because people are here having a great time watching the wonderful spooky films. Movies every night, cocktails, s'mores. I'm busy. We I'm only busy have the month October. of October. I'm busy, okay? I'm booked and busy, baby. Booked and busy. <laughs> All right, you stay right there. We're gonna continue our Halloween hop around Houston. Coming up after the break. You hear a lot from me, and now I want to hear from you. The Nightcap has a new voice mailbox, so lay it on me, baby, and don't you hold back. Do you have relationship questions or topics we should discuss? Maybe some sexy secrets to share? I want to hear it all. So, who are you going to call? Me. Welcome back to the Nightcap. As you know, we're going around Houston for a Halloween hop, bar hop, if you will. And uh, <laughs> what is Halloween without candy, right? We gotta go trick or treating. So we came to Eye Candy. Yay! It's cute, right? But baby, I'm tricking you because this isn't just a candy shop. Apparently, it's a speakeasy. Let's see if we can uh, get inside. Okay, Christy Velasco, thank you so much for having me. Yes, thank you. No, y'all coming on the show was not enough. I needed to have come here. This is the place to be. It's intimate, it's cozy, it's sexy, the drapes, the lighting, this bar. Everything is gorgeous. Thank you. And even the candy shop, like that's fun. But this is a place to come for Halloween. Yes, we are doing a Halloween costume contest. What? Yes. A whole contest. A whole contest on the 31st. Contest starts at 10. Okay. Uh, we have first, second, and third cash prize. So even if I'm third place, I'm winning some money. You win some money. Okay, so what's first place winning though? A thousand dollars. Second place will be 500 and third place will be 250. Oh, so people need to come in and show out. All right, let's talk about this spot though, because you know they're no fun candy. It's called eye candy, so there's candy. So this is a typical display, but with the little Halloween vibes. Yes. This is like a little charcuterie board. It's our candy charcuterie that we offer here year round. We just have a Halloween theme for this, this month. Y'all see this mess? That's cute. I love it. You know me and my popcorn, it's a weakness. Okay, but obviously you have some cocktails as well. Oh, look at this handsome bartender. Oh, the cauldron. What is this? This is our Panamanian Spice Carajil. Ooh. It's made with your choice of spirit, arroz con piña and espresso. What? Yes. I am so curious. Explain this arroz con piña. It is a, actually, technique from my mom. <laughs> um, what? I don't know. See, the thing about carajillos is that they can be very, very sweet. Right. And I love espresso. I love Licor 43, but I feel like together I gotta be already had a few to enjoy it. <laughs> this is refreshing and I feel like I could have multiple because it's it's not overpowering on the sweetness. It's so refreshing. Yes. The, the espresso is very subtle at the end. That arroz con piña. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dang mom. Shout out mom. <laughs> This is our Roncatini. <laughs> oh, so it's like a it's like a chocolate martini. Our chocolate martini we make with vodka, um, Ghirardelli white chocolate, with 443, and, some and heavy, heavy cream. cream to That's make it smooth. Okay, with the eyeball. Is the eyeball actually edible? Yes. Stop. Nah. That's the best chocolate martini I've ever had. Y'all got Willy Wonka back here? <laughs> It's creamy, milky, the way chocolate should be, but it feels a little boozy, so you're having a good time. Okay, what, what exactly is this eyeball? I'm so scared to... It is a it. chocolate delight. It is made from mostly chocolates, which is who we partnered with. Oh, mostly chocolates! And they nice. make all of our chocolates for us. Mm. That looks creepy, <laughs> like I did bite into an eyeball. Oh, that is so good. What a topic. Amazing. So people need to come here 
around the year. Yes. But definitely on Halloween and fight for that chance at that thousand dollars, baby. What? I love it. All right, I got a lot of candy to eat and some drinks to drink. I hope you enjoyed the Halloween bar hop around Houston. Cheers to you. We'll see you guys next time. I don't even know which one to end with. This is so good. <laughs> Missed out on the nightcap? Well, head on over to our YouTube page and catch up with Carolina. You can watch full episodes anytime you want. And don't forget to share it with your friends because we got to keep the conversation flowing. If you're confident in yourself, who can stop this? Ding dong, titties. We're not looking to hurt the sisters, gotcha. but you know, we can get men pretty bad. What, do I look disgusting? No. Also, fellas, the toy is not your enemy. It's your teammate. Tag it in. Join us weeknights on Fox 26 at 11.30 and any time on Fox Soul.